Welcome. The last part of your session. Okay. Another 50 minutes. Okay. Please uh, conclude at 4.55. All right. Sounds good. 4.50. 4.50. Okay. All right. right. Thank you. Good. All right. Um, before I continue, though, I need to talk a little bit about Sun Style Tai Chi. We just practiced tucking the robe and beginning Tai Chi, two of the movements. Sun style Tai Chi is different from other styles of Tai Chi because it, com it concentrates on one of the basic principles of Tai Chi solely, which is the concept of opening and closing. So uh, we did a little bit of that in the Yang style, right? Opening here, closing here. So that's uh, one particular movement. Again, opening and closing. Opening and closing treat your body like a pump and you're pumping Qi throughout your body as you practice it. That's the main feature of Sun Style Tai Chi. All styles of Tai Chi have some aspects of it, but they stress different things. For instance, your Chen Style is spiraling, twisting, and turning, which for some people's health, they may not be able to do, okay? Or if they're disabled or have some disabilities, those movements can't be done. Uh, Yang style Tai Chi, the movements are better. They're bigger, extension, but they have also what? Techniques that go down low. They have high kicking techniques. Uh, again, those techniques are not uh, as useful for um, health exercises. And also, sometimes the patient might not be able to make big movements. It's very uncomfortable. Like if they're very stiff and they've been uh, hurt, okay, like in a car accident, for instance, their muscles will be, tend to be very tight. Stretching out will be very difficult. Sun Sao Tai Chi, again, the movements are small, but they use the opening and closing to pump the energy, the chi, throughout the entire body. So the circulation from Sun Sao Tai Chi is different. The other thing is because of the postures used in Sun Sao Tai Chi, because there's no real low lower high postures, um, there's no stress on your body. So, which is why anyone can do it. It's a style basically anyone can do in any physical condition. Um, and so it's important for that. Now the opening closing feature is one of the reasons why Sun Sao Tai Chi works for arthritis prevention. So in your body, around all your major joints, you have bursa, the bursa um, kind of acts as cushion around your joint. When you have arthritis, these bursa become inflamed, dried out. So uh, instead of protecting you, you start grinding your bones and cartilage together. So how does um, this work with sun style? Sun style, because the movements are very gentle, you're very slowly expanding and closing uh, your using your muscles, the bursa open and close. They're able to uh, draw in fluids from the surrounding tissue to reactivate the bursa, and that's why it can. It's possible that you do it long enough, the arthritis actually goes away because you're able to relubricate your joint. So, kind of an interesting uh, result of practicing Sun Style Tai Chi, and this has been documented again by Dr. Paul Lamb, which is why it is recognized for arthritis prevention and arthritis as a possible cure for uh, some forms of arthritis. So um, the movements we practice in Sun Style Tai Chi, every movement has some aspect of opening and closing. And again, this is the, so you can activate the bursa and thereby lubricate the joints. Um, and the gentle opening and closing helps to move the chi throughout your body. Okay, so we're gonna illustrate this principle with the most important technique in sun style because it occurs so often, which is kai he, opening and closing. So these two movements are usually practiced together. You don't practice them separately. Um, and when doing it, we'll practice the hand part first, hand movement. So I'm going to stand slightly sideways. And so the hands are not here. 
you have to bring them up. So it's about the height of at highest, probably where your nose is. You can have it around your chin. That's a good, good place. And now, imagine you have a balloon here. As you breathe in, the balloon expands. As you breathe out, the balloon contracts. Now, also, as I expand, the body straightens. Okay, as it compresses, my body rounds slightly, hollows the chest. And then as I breathe in, the chest opens, my arms follow. Now, you can also engage your legs. I bent my knees now. As I breathe in, I straighten. And if you're doing this properly, you can now feel your whole body expanding and contracting at once. Now, as you bend your knees, you kind of push the knees out slightly so that they're rounded. And then you straighten, close it back up. And this is especially good as seniors get older. It helps to maintain the lung capacity. Good for people who have asthma or allergies because it strengthens the lungs. So this is Kai Ho opening and closing. Now, some things to remember when you're doing this, do not allow your elbows to come out and do it like this. Huh? The elbows have to remain close to your sides. So you notice my elbows don't actually leave my side. It goes around my waist. Okay. And that's why this can also be practiced for martial art, because when I turn it into the fist, it becomes a martial art on guard position. All right, and relax. Now, this movement is often combined with single whip. So we are going to do single whip. All right. So in single whip, first we're just gonna do, you know, lift the hands up, push the hands up, separate them and relax, huh? Roll down and relax, okay? And then we're gonna start again, bring your hands down again, okay? So again, we're gonna bring it up from the bottom, push out, separate, relax your shoulders. Drop the hands, come up again. Turn it up, push it forward. Okay. Like you're splitting apart. And then now, sink, relax. Okay. The hands are not to the side, they're actually in front of you. Okay, and then drop your hands down. So let's watch it again from the side. Push forward. Also, you notice the arm is not locked or straight. It still is a arc here. It's circular. Okay. Two hands make a circle. And now separate them out. About here and relax. As you relax, you push slightly forward. Then drop your arms. Okay, again from the front, breathe in coming up, breathe out, push forward, breathe in, separate, breathe out, round, and sink downward. 
All right. So that is the handwork for the movement. Later on, we're going to incorporate movement with the feet. But next, we need to practice the Fair Lady Work Shuttles. So Fair Lady Work Shuttles looks like this. The two hands form a T. You're pushing diagonally at a corner. Okay. All right. Now, the Qigong practice. So this movement can be a Qigong practice. My right hand is on top. So I circle from left to right, back to the left, and now I raise, push to the right corner. Drop the right hand on top, go to the left. Come back. So you make a complete circle. Push. Drop the left hand on top. Left hand on top. I went right, right to left, and now right corner. Okay. Fair lady work shuttles. So notice the arms roll outward again. That's the spiraling aspect of Tai Chi. And the spiraling, I believe, allows you to connect yourself to the fascia in your body that allows the chi to move. And relax. One final movement that I think, will, oh, yeah, is the final movement, I believe, that we'll need to create a form, wave hand like clouds. Now, this is good for what? Coordination, good for focus. Uh, movements like this have been used in uh, psychological clinics in China to help patients with uh, schizophrenia kind of learn to focus. So imagine you have a mirror here. I'm going to polish the mirror with my hand, okay? So I have two hands. One polishes out, one polishes up. Eyes follow the hand, and then the hand drops, the other hand comes up, comes down, followed by the other one. And let me turn around once so you can see it from the back. Yeah, make sure both hands are turning at once. And you're using your waist. Again, remember activating the waist activates the daimai. And so that improves your immune system. Helps to connect the bottom and lower parts of your body to the upper part. And now, uh, the reverse. When we reverse, you're going to turn the palm kind of sideways. 
you brush down and brush up. So this hand goes down, this one comes up. This is part of brush knee and press. Okay, and again, relax. So again, the next practice is the practice of stepping in Sun Style Tai Chi. Generally, the movements are not big or wide, but you have to maintain your balance. So, I just illustrate for a moment. My two feet are next to me. I can step like this. So you notice my body is rocking back and forth. That is not Tai Chi walking. Okay, Tai Chi walking, you have to maintain the weight on one side. I step out. My head should not move. Then I shift my body over. I bring the back foot back here. Again, without trying to rock my body. Step out again. Shift. Step back. Okay. So now we'll go back. Same way. You reach out with your foot. Your toe touches first. Shift your weight, in this case to the right. Empty the left. All your weight goes to the right. Now, sit here, bring your left foot in, okay? And then sink on the left leg. The right toe goes out. Shift your weight to the right. Okay, then bring the other foot over, okay? All right, so let's try that. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of room here, but you can do this, of course, as many times as you want, but excellent for teaching seniors to maintain their balance so they don't fall. You learn to control your weight as you're stepping. So you notice I sort of glide across and then my foot follows, okay? So this is called follow stepping. The front foot steps, the back foot follows. So going back now, again, step out, slowly shift your weight all the way across. It's all here. Bring the other foot forward. Okay. Step out, shift. Step back. Okay. Again, going the other way. Step out, toe, shift. Stand back. Step out. Step back. One more time. Going back. Stepping up, stepping back. Okay, so that is sidestepping in Sun Style Tai Chi. Stepping forward is also a little bit different too. So normally people will step forward, they kind of just put the foot down and you keep going. Again, in Sun Style, we want you to control the transfer of your weight. So... Again, stand in your John John position. Again, sink this time. All your weight is on the right. The heel comes forward of your left leg. The heel is touching the ground, not the whole foot. Now, slowly shift all your weight to the front leg until the back heel starts to raise. Then push off the back foot 
and bring your back foot next to your right uh, left foot. Okay. So let's try that again. You step back again. Again, shift. Heel touch. Sink forward. And as you finish, bring the back foot up. So as your weight completely shifts to the front leg, the back foot has to follow. Okay, we'll step back again. So I'm doing it right now just with my left foot. So again, right sink, left heel touches, roll forward to your all of your feet. And as you finish, bring the back foot up. Okay, the back foot, the ball of your foot is touching the ground, not your tip of your toe, okay? Because you have to be, if it's the tip of your toe, I push you, you finish at the same time. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go back to the other side with the left side starting. We're going to also work on stepping back and stepping forward. So sink. Heel touches. Shift your weight forward. As the toe touches, bring the other one forward. Now to go back, you don't just step back and drop your weight to the rear. You keep your weight on the front. Reach your back toe back. Now roll back on the back foot until all the weight is on the back foot. Okay, then bring the front foot back. Okay, so sink on the right. Left heel touches. Roll forward, bring the other foot forward. Step back with the back toe, slowly roll backward. And then bring the foot back. Okay. So we do the other side, same way. Weight on the left side. Right heel comes forward. Roll forward. Step back. All the way is here. Bring the foot back. Okay. Again. Right heel. Shift forward, so you see my body coming forward. And now my foot goes back first, not my body. And then I shift my weight until it's all in the back leg. And now I can bring my front foot back. Okay, so that is called follow stepping. That's a unique skill for Sun Style Tai Chi. Good for teaching how to maintain balance correctly. Now, having done that, we can now put some of these things together to learn a form, okay? So remember, the form only contains six moves. And for the purpose of this class, you're probably only going to do one side. So remember, you can go forward. You can also go backward, which is the beauty of the form. The form can be adapted for whoever it is you're teaching. Um, so now we're going to work on stepping with the movements that we've just learned. So let's start with our feet again, shoulder width apart. We're going to go to opening and closing. As I push forward, I sink on my right leg. I step out with my left heel. I transfer my weight and I sink. Okay, so this is the single whip in Sun Style Tai Chi. Shift my weight back. I bring this hand in and my foot. Open, close again. Push out. Step out. Shift your weight back as the hands come together. Bring your foot back.
and shift back, bring it back. Now the other side is similar. So let's do the other side now. But now your right heel goes out. As if you're tearing a piece of paper, pull the hands apart. At the end, roll your shoulders, sink your elbows, push forward slightly. Then shift your weight back, bring the hand back in. Push out, heel goes out, separate. Shift back again. <laughs> All right, and relax. So that combines two, three movements, opening, closing, which are two separate movements, and then single whip. Right? Next is called raise hands and lower hands. It begins like a beginning Tai Chi. So it comes up. But now, as you pull it in, I bend my knees. All my weight goes to the right leg right now. My left leg is going to step out like we did before. Heel touches. And as I roll forward, I'm going to push forward. So this movement is similar to uh, the one we did early in the Chigo exercise. This is also subtle wrist to push the palms. Then you reach out. As you bring the chi back, step back. The weight shifts all the way to the back. And then as you bring the foot back, complete the technique. So left leg is coming forward. Bend, heel goes forward, push forward. That's good. Wow, that's really good. So hands to your sides, raise them up, palms facing each other, empty all your weight to the right, step left foot forward, push forward. So you're pushing forward, then reach out, draw the chi back, step back. Now I'm going to do the other leg. So this time my right foot steps out, left foot follows. Right foot steps out, left foot follows. So you notice as I finish, as my body stops, the arms continue forward to push. Reach out, draw the chi back to you. Oh, sorry. Uh, bring it up. Then I'm going to empty your way. Right heel comes forward, shift forward. Reach out. Imagine drawing chi to you. Toe goes back. Shift your weight back. Return to your Zhang position.
So you have now learned all the basic individual movements of the Sun style six form. So it is, of course, beginning Tai Chi, um, carry tiger to the mountain, wave hand like clouds, um, single whip, fair lady work shuttles. So you have all the basic movements. So we're going to now try and put those together for you so that you have a short Tai Chi form. So again, uh, I've talked to many people and sometimes they're all, how can you get any benefit out of a short form? Well, think about it this way. A 108 move form takes you 25 minutes to perform. You do it twice, it takes 50 minutes. That's doing it two times. The form that we're learning takes two minutes in 50 minutes, how many times can I do it? Quite a few more, okay? So it's not a matter of how long, it's if you practice it within, uh, how should I say it, lots of times, your technique will improve. If you don't need a lot of techniques, and then for health, it's about circulation. Complex techniques do not necessarily make it easy for a student to harness or use the energy and also the coordination necessary hinders the body's ability to move the chi and actually to relax. So I've also had students tell me that the form is so complicated, I can't follow you and I can't relax. Yeah, because it's too difficult. Um, and for the purpose of health, it doesn't have to. So this form, again, has been tested by Dr. Paul Lam. We know it does work. Okay. So let's work a little bit on putting it together. So first you're gonna start with your feet together. Okay. All your weight goes to the right leg as we are doing earlier. Step out with your left toe. And let's do the first move, okay? So you're gonna bring the hands up as beginning Tai Chi. Reach down, push down, okay? We learned this in the Qigong. Then holding the ball. Remember, this is also another version of the same move. Beginning Tai Chi. Now raise hands and lower hands. So of course we did this earlier. But now this time empty all your way to the left. The right foot's going to step out. Push forward. Okay. And we'll step back. So that is the beginning of the form. Okay. The first two moves. Now, of course, the first move is more than two moves, but it's still considered one. It is the movement beginning Tai Chi. So again, start with your feet together. Weight goes to the right. Step out. R uh, yeah. Beginning Tai Chi. Rotate your palms. Bring the backs of your hands facing each other as it comes up. Relax. Try to feel your ball of energy. Roll it in. Roll it out. Push it down. Next, raise hands. Lower hands. Always in the right foot is going to step forward to the mouth. Okay. And step back. Okay, we'll do it again. Weight to the right. Yes. Step out. Shift your weight. 
Rotate the palms, raise the hand with your pinky facing upward. Then relax your shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Let the hands rotate, feel the ball. Roll it in, bend your knees, push it out using your legs. Roll it back, push it down. Next, raise hands, lower hand. Left foot is where all your weight is, your left leg. The right foot is going to step out, carry tiger to the mountain. Okay, now bring the hands back in. We're going to open and close. Push out and step out with your right or your left foot. Separate, sink. So you did open, close, single whip. Okay. All right. And let's go back to the beginning again. So again, shift your weight to the right, left leg steps up. Beginning Tai Chi. Slowly straighten back up. Rotate your palms, raise the arms back up. Relax. Roll the ball back. Push it forward. Roll back, push it down. Next, raise hands. Lower hands. All your weight is on the left leg. Right leg steps forward, follow step. Bring the hands back in towards your body, okay? So that if you are out here, bring it back, back in, okay? Bring it back in. Open and close. Push forward. Left heel steps out, separate. Single whip, okay? Okay, again. Now raise hands, lower hand, right foot steps forward, carrying tiger to the mouth, open and close. Push outwards, step out with the left foot, single whip. Now, the next part is going to be wave hand like cloud. So from here, we're going to step back, bringing your left hand in, and now wave hand like clouds, one, two. So I haven't moved anywhere. This is my right hand here. As my left hand comes out, I'm going to step. And now... I step back, I step, and step back. I step three times, step back. And now from here, you can drop your hand down, fair lady work shovel. Okay. And then come back, hands come forward, and Tai Chi. So that is you have a 10 more minutes. Okay, sounds good.
Thank so you. we're going to do it a couple more times, and then I will be able to complete the course. So again, this is all the movements linked together. Uh, if you need review, of course, remember to review the video at your leisure. All right, so let's try and do that again all together. Weight on feet together. Weight goes to the right, step out. Beginning Tai Chi. Okay, feel the ball. Roll back. Roll forward. Push down. Raise hands, empty to the left. Carry tiger to the bottom. Right foot steps out. Bring the hand back in, open and close. Turn the arms up, push forward. Step out with your right heel. Slowly shift your way. And I wave hands. I finished this sun. My foot comes in, I do the next one, okay? Step out, step back, step out, step back. You can do as many of these as you like. I usually do about three. And then from here, you know, bring the left hand up, the right hand drops down. Remember, it makes a T, and I take a small step, I push to the left corner. Then I bring my hands back in, crossing my hands. Okay. I step back, my feet are even, bring the hands up, ending Tai Chi. So this is one side, okay? So I'm just going to show you how you could do it if you want to do both sides, okay? Um, and you can review the recording for the other side. Okay, we step out. So this is the same. Okay. Reach. Rotate the palms. Push up. Step back. Wave hand like clouds. One. Step. Here's two. Step. Here's three. And now I step slightly, a small step to the corner. Fair lady works shuttles. I now bring the two hands back. Turn it inward. Separate the two hands. And Tai Chi. Now, if I wanted to go back, I can just go back from this position. So stepping back again. Back to the beginning. Open and close. Single whip. And Tai Chi. That's one possible way to finish it, okay? Or you can go from here to back to open close. And now you can step back and go to the right. So several ways you can continue to modify this form to fit what it is you need to do. And then you do a fair lady here and you finish. But one side is um, pretty good. 
Uh, usually I don't recommend people trying to do both sides at once. Learn one part first before you try and learn the other part. Um, again, it is not about how much you do, but how well you do what you do. And so what you've learned today is a system of using Tai Chi to improve a person's general health. You start with uh, loosening the Chan Su Gong, the silt reeling exercises to loosen the body, uh, lubricate the joints, okay? Qigong practice is to help you move the qi through your body, through the limbs, help you to feel the qi, okay? That's what the uh, Yang style Tai Chi Qigong does. And finally, the Tai Chi form to help you work on your coordination, circulation, balance, okay? So Tai Chi works all of those things and can be good in general for anyone. So um, I've asked or talked to many uh, acupuncturists and um, medical Chinese TCM doctors. They know Tai Chi, they learn some Tai Chi, but they've never prescribed Tai Chi. So I think the purpose of this course is to show you that some of the things that we do in Tai Chi can in fact be prescribed for people's health. And so the Sun Sao Tai Chi, the method has been tested. It's simple, easy to use, easy to remember, and it is effective. So that's why we practice it. Um, and the other things, the Yang Sao Qigong, the silt reeling exercise, help to prepare your body to actually do the Tai Chi even better. So um, that's about the actual techniques for this class. Oh, we should do one more. Hold your hand up, turn. Now bring your hands together, but don't touch, push them back and forth. See if you can feel anything between your hands. Okay. As we've been practicing Qigong, you should be able to actually feel something between your hands as they go back and forth. Now, from here, kind of circle them. Okay, I can feel energy moving through my fingers and they're tingling. That's a sign that the Qi is moving. Okay, now reverse it. Can you still feel it? Okay, and now open and close. Can you feel it stretch and compress? All right, so if you felt that, you were able to move your chi. I hope that you had a chance to actually Yeah, anyone have any questions? Thank you, Professor Wong, uh, Professor Fang. Mm -hmm. No problem. I think uh, you re recover from your Kaisen so fast because you do all this. Mm 